Actress Valerie Hobson, known for her roles in classic cinema, stands out for her talent and versatility. What makes her unique is her ability to smoothly switch between different characters in movies. Which of her performances do you like the most? Valerie Hobson's work in films holds a special place for many people. As you think about the movies she's been in, which one do you remember the most? Share your thoughts below. Stay tuned for some interesting facts about this classic actor. We'll be revealing surprising details soon, so keep watching. And now, get ready to explore the fascinating world of Valerie Hobson filled with amusing, shocking, and sad facts. Don't miss out on what's coming up. Valerie Hobson, an actress, made a big difference in the film world back in the 1930s and 1940s and even after that. She became famous during that time and made important contributions to Hollywood. Her talent and presence changed how female characters were shown in movies. The way she acted added depth and truth to her roles and people remembered her performances for a long time. She was known for being able to play many different kinds of roles, moving easily between different types of movies and characters. This showed how good she was as an actress. Her work helped set new standards for women actors in Hollywood, making it easier for others who came after her. Apart from acting, she also did a lot of charity work and spoke out for causes she believed in. This encouraged others in the industry to do the same and make things better. In short, Valerie Hobson's influence on the film world during her time and later on was really strong. Through her talent, ability to play different roles, and speaking up for what she believed in, she left a strong impression on Hollywood that we still feel today. Valerie Hobson was an actress who starred in movies before she stopped acting after getting married again. She played Estella in the 1946 movie Great Expectations, but earlier filmed as Biddy in the 1934 version, though those scenes didn't make it to the final film. Frances L. Sullivan played Mr. Jaggers in both versions. She quit acting after her second marriage, which was Kamalamfran for women in her time. In 1999, people remembered and honored her at a service at St. Paul's Church, Covent Garden. This shows how her personal life affected her career. Her journey from acting to a private life shows how people's choices change over time. Valerie Hobson, known for playing Elizabeth in The Bride of Frankenstein and appearing in Werewolf of London around the same time. In The Bride of Frankenstein, she played Dr. Frankenstein's fiance. Despite being young, she only got 800 for her role. Her husband, John Profumo, got into a big scandal in 1963 for having an affair with Christine Keeler. This scandal caused Britain's conservative government to fall. Through all of it, she stuck by him, showing strong loyalty. Valerie Hobson made a big impact in movies and in British politics. Her story shows how complicated relationships can be and how important loyalty is. Valerie Hobson, a well-known actress, faced various challenges in both her personal and professional life. Despite achieving success in acting, her personal struggles often mirrored the characters she played on screen. In relationships, she encountered difficulties that tested her resilience, experiencing heartbreak and disappointment while navigating the complexities of love. These challenges sometimes affected her work, influencing her performances and overall well-being. Balancing career aspirations with family responsibilities added further complexity to her busy schedule, impacting her mental and emotional health. Nevertheless, Valerie remained determined to overcome obstacles and pursue her passion for acting. She found comfort in her work, using it as a way to express herself creatively and connect with audiences on a deep level. Her journey serves as a reminder that resilience and determination can lead to personal growth and fulfillment despite facing adversity. Her ability to navigate through tough relationships and life struggles demonstrates the power of perseverance and staying true to oneself. Valerie Hobson, an actress known for her roles in classic films, encountered various highs and lows throughout her career. Joining the Screen Actors Guild in late 1935 marked a significant milestone in her journey. One notable portrayal was as Elizabeth in The Bride of Frankenstein. She stepped into the role, replacing Mee Clark due to illness, and despite the shift in hair color from blonde to brunette, her performance captivated audiences. However, later in life, she faced health challenges. Struggling with medication, she tragically suffered a fatal heart attack. Despite the ups and downs, Valerie Hobson's impact on the film industry remains undeniable. Valerie Hobson played Lisa Glendon in Werewolf of London. Interestingly, the DVD bonus feature, labeled as the original theatrical trailer, is actually a re-edited version from 1935. 
This trailer only mentions Henry Hull and Valerie Hobson by name. Scenes with Warner Oland are prominent, but his name is not mentioned. This was a Kamalandran practice to disguise the age of the film. In The Bride of Frankenstein, Hobson played the character Elizabeth. It's worth noting that three of the film's stars had family connections to senior British diplomats or politicians. Boris Karloff's elder brother, Sir John Thomas Pratt, was involved in diplomatic relations with China and Japan. Ernest the Siger's first cousin, Sir Frederick the Siger, held various senior diplomatic positions, including serving as the Viceroy of India. Hobson herself was later married to the controversial Conservative Secretary of State for War, John Profumo, from 1954 until her death in 1998. A humorous observation among film enthusiasts is that the title Bride of Frankenstein could refer to either Valerie Hobson's character or Elsa Lanchester's character, as both Colin Clive and Boris Karloff's characters are named Frankenstein within the movie. Valerie Hobson, best known for her roles in The Bride of Frankenstein and Werewolf of London, showcased her talent at a young age. In The Bride of Frankenstein, she portrayed Elizabeth, Dr. Frankenstein's fiancée. At just 17 years old, she starred alongside Colin Clive, who played Henry Frankenstein and was 35 years old. In Werewolf of London, Hobson took on the character of Lisa Glendon, appearing as the wife of Henry Hull's character. Despite the significant age gap of 27 years between them, they convincingly portrayed a married couple on screen. Hobson's performances in these films displayed her ability to embody various roles with depth and skill despite her youth. Her early success paved the way for a notable career in the film industry. Valerie Hobson, known for her roles in British cinema, harbored a little-known tragic aspect in her life. Despite her successful career, her personal life was marked by heartache. She was married to John Profumo, a British politician who became embroiled in a scandal in the 1960s. This scandal, known as the Profumo Affair, involved his affair with Christine Keeler, a young model. Valerie stood by her husband initially, but the revelation of his involvement in the scandal ultimately led to the collapse of their marriage. The scandal not only affected Profumo's political career, but also brought emulentorance, public scrutiny, and personal turmoil to Valerie Hobson. She faced the painful consequences of her husband's actions, highlighting the tragic dimension of her otherwise illustrious life. Valerie Hobson, a British actress, led a life filled with highs and lows. A surprising fact about her involves her second marriage to politician John Profumo. The scandal that erupted in the early 1960s due to Profumo's affair with Christine Keeler not only shook up the political world, but also deeply affected Valerie Hobson's life. This event, with its scandalous nature and intense public attention, brought unexpected and sad twists to her personal life. She wasn't just an actress, but got caught up in a scandal and political chaos. The Profumo affair, which pushed her into an unwanted spotlight, had consequences beyond her marriage. It exposed her to public scrutiny and completely changed her life's direction. Despite her success in movies like Great Expectations and Bride of Frankenstein, Valerie Hobson's personal life got tangled up in the Profumo scandal. The shocking revelation of her husband's involvement cast a shadow over her, turning her life into a sad story that played out in front of everyone. After the Profumo scandal, Valerie Hobson faced the harsh outcomes of being linked to a political mess. The fallout from the affair damaged her marriage, and her public image was forever changed. The actress, who had once shined on screen with talent and charm, found herself dealing with the chaotic aftermath of a scandal that left a lasting impression on her life. To sum up, Valerie Hobson's life took an unexpected and sorrowful turn due to her connection to the Profumo affair. The scandal not only shocked the public, but also added a layer of sadness to the life of this talented actress. The intertwining of her personal life with a political scandal remains a memorable chapter in the history of both British politics and Valerie Hobson's life.